For most of the 20th century, America's manufacturing industry embraced a white fibrous mineral with almost magical properties, asbestos. Asbestos was used widely in construction and insulation. It was valued for its unusual strength and resistance to flame and heat. It was natural that the scientists would turn to asbestos, for this is a remarkable mineral. It is made up of tiny but extremely strong and flexible fibers. It was given every conceivable test. Water couldn't harm it, for even a torch couldn't burn it. Oh, darling, it's going to be just perfect. These microscopic fibers give asbestos its durability. They also turned out to be quite deadly. When asbestos fibers are inhaled, over time they can lead directly to diseases such as lung cancer, mesothelioma, and asbestosis, which causes a scarring of the lungs. The same kind of scarring if you cut your finger and you get a scab. The thing is, with the skin, the scab falls off, leaving you with a nice normal bit of skin underneath. But once the scar tissue occurs in the lung, it's permanent. And it makes it difficult for the oxygen that we breathe in to be transported into the bloodstream and fuel the body, which is what oxygen does for us. Use of asbestos has plummeted in the United States since the 1970s. But its legacy continues to grow. Until the 1990s, thousands of mechanics were put at risk as they changed asbestos-filled brake linings. Because that dust can be deadly. Using an air hose like this is now illegal. We did a lot of things wrong back then. And this was probably the worst of them. Now, the first thing I tell every one of my mechanics is, don't blow it. Bill Rogers worked as an auto mechanic for more than 40 years, starting in 1961. He and his co-workers often used compressed air hoses to clean out brake drums. That's where dust and debris from worn asbestos brake shoes would collect. Bill, are you sick? Yes. What's wrong with you? I have cancer in my right lung. Did you ever see anything in any of the General Motors manuals at Martin Pontiac that warned you about the dangers of asbestos? No, I didn't. Now the asbestos industry is booming in the developing world. That's where the market for cheap building materials is huge and regulations are often weak. Mexico, for instance, relies on asbestos cement for cheap construction. We're talking about a construction material. It's uh, when you take power saws to sheets of asbestos cement, you get horrendously high exposures. The International Labor Organization estimates that 100,000 workers will die each year from asbestos-related diseases. Despite this toll, the asbestos trade remains alive and well. There will likely be up to 10 million asbestos-related cancer deaths worldwide by 2030. In Brazil, asbestos is banned in only four of 26 states. In the state of Sao Paulo, freight trucks, each bearing 32 tons of raw asbestos, must be escorted by police to state lines. The International Consortium of Investigative Journalists has tracked nearly $100 million being spent by industry groups and governments to help expand the commerce in asbestos. In Washington, D.C., union workers gather with Barry Castleman to try to stop the province of Quebec from subsidizing an old asbestos mine. Although asbestos is little used in Canada, that country is a top exporter. Canada should be ashamed because this is a civilized country and there is no excuse for this at this point. These are countries where people go to work in factories when they're 14 and they're developing asbestos related illnesses and dying of them in their late 30s and 40s. That's already happening. Pro asbestos marketing campaigns are supported by scientists who maintain that white or chrysotile asbestos, the only type sold today, is less toxic than blue or brown asbestos. They insist that chrysotile can be used safely under controlled conditions. Dr. Dennis Postenbach, an asbestos industry researcher, says that exposure by automobile mechanics cannot be tied to higher risks of mesothelioma. At these doses, there is no evidence 
uh, certainly with the brake dust. The health effect, the evidence for adverse health effects just isn't there. And this, I think, is very effective for the public and for lawyers. You'll see for vehicle mechanics, the relative risk is not much different than anybody else. In fact, it is no different than a teacher or, or uh, administrator, people that work in the offices and farm laborers. But many scientists disagree. There just is no way that even in, in, in the advanced industrial countries you can expect to have protection of workers doing things like this, much less in, in developing countries. It just doesn't happen. The World Health Organization warns that all forms of asbestos cause cancer, and that includes chrysotile, or white asbestos. It's like asking, um, how dangerous is a bullet? You know, if, if I fire a gun and, and you're dead, does it matter if the bullet was tipped in lead or poison? You're dead.